Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are making a new video. In today's video, we're doing something a bit different though. Usually for one of my videos, I would just record myself of my add-on and then bam, it would be done a minute, but I'm going to be trying something a bit different. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I code my add-on, the Iron Man one, which is coming out very soon. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a new add-on again. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Starting off, what I'm doing here is creating each model for my Iron Man. I'm going to be creating the model as an example for today's video. You're more free to follow along if you're making an add-on, but do know this is a bit of advanced method, so if it does not make sense, I will try to make a future video about it. But don't worry, all I'm doing right now is exporting each new model I make. Once done with the models, the next step is to make the models render in-game. Basically what I'm doing now is I'm in the resource folder in the animation section, and I'm simply copying each model matching the animations. And because there were six total model animations I created, I need to create six animations in all, including everything I do next. Right here I'm under the entity folder in the file called entity.player. Here is where all the models and textures render together. Think of it as the glue of all of this, so it knows where the model and textures go with what. This does take the longest time as well of all the several places I have to copy and paste all this mallet stuff. As I'm finishing up, you will see me in a second go to render controllers. This is also another important aspect as nothing will show up in game if you don't add anything here. 85% of the problems are usually caused in entity player and in the render controllers. So make sure to double check those if something messes up, but for now, I think I should be fine. As I'm finishing up, I simply go to behavior packs and add the items in. Now it's time to go into the game to see if it works. Lastly, I start up a new world with the resource and behavior pack and go and see if the textures are now rendering with my new code I added. And as we can clearly see, it is now working fine and it's ready for the next step, the code. Basically, I'll break it down as simple as possible. There are four big steps when creating something I did. First, you need to go into entity and player and then add the controllers and controller animations you want. It's hard to explain, but I can be more detailed on later on video. But for now, here's the general thought process. You need two animation controllers and two animations. Basically, they allow you to activate a key in the game, while the animations allow you the actual animation, of course. So, let me explain more detail. When you sneak, that is activating your animation controllers. And in that animation controller, you can go and add Minecraft code you want. Of course, it has to be the MCPE code and not the Java. As you can see on screen now, this is what an animation looks like. To the side of it are little numbers of when those time periods happen, so each animation will go. Now do note that if you do have it too close of a time period, it may not run, and you want to have it a bit spread apart, alright? So a millisecond of a, like a second, it's a little too fast, and you need to spread it out, you know, a couple more. Basically what I like doing is I like adding tags. Tags basically is its own code and saying if you don't have it, it won't run. So that's when it comes in hand because if you have an animation and uh, you don't know when to run it, you know, all of them are going to run at once. So tags basically make them all separate. So it's careful, you know, not to mix them up and you have to kind of memorize them. So that's why you might see me go back to the game so I can know which tags is for what. Now do notice that this does take a long time, and this probably did take me probably 45 minutes to code, but I am now speeding this up as of course by like 10 times. So now you can go and see what it looks like, and I did make a little bug so I had to fix them. But yeah, I'll show you what the end result looks right now. Now I hope you found this video helpful of basically what I do, but as you can see, I go into the world, I slowed it down just a bit slower so you can see what I'm actually doing, and basically it finally worked, and this is what the end result looks like. And yes, tell me how you like it. I think it looks really cool. Um, please, you know, once again, to leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, bye!